so this is the problem in this problem we have source at 1400 kelvin system at 800 kelvin and atmospheric temperature is 298 kelvin okay in this system receives 250 kilojoule per second so this is the most important thing okay and we have to find out net change in entropy and second one is decrease in available energy so first thing is that this is the problem of availability or exergy so to solve this problem we have we know that first thing we have source and we have system so source is giving 250 heat kilojoule per seconds to the system so we know that the system is when absorbing system get q 250 we have to take it positive and when source is giving 250 we have to take it negative so this is the most important thing second thing is that we know the formulas of net change in entropy and second one is decrease in available energy so if we know these two formula we are very easy to solve the example okay so what is the first formula net change in entropy in this delta s that is change in entropy net is equal to change in entropy of the source and change in entropy of the system in this change in entropy of the source is find out by q by t and change in entropy of the system is point by same q by t okay and the what is the unit of the change in entropy is kilojoule seconds kilojoule per seconds kelvin so first we are find the net change in entropy okay net change in entropy okay so we have formula that delta s net is equal to delta s of the system plus delta s of the source okay so first find out delta s of the source delta s of the source okay so what is its formula q by t okay so in this i am already tell you that we have to take negative q why because source is giving 250 okay so we are taking negative 250 and what is the temperature of the source is given this is so we are taking this so okay let's find out this on kelsey so minus 250 divided by 1400 so answer is minus 0 0.1785 and the unit is kilojoule per seconds kelvin okay so second we have to find delta s of the system so follow the same uh, formula but in this q is most imp i am already told you that for a system take positive 250 so positive 50 divided by what is the temperature of the system is 800 kelvin so find out the answer 250 divided by so the answer is 0 0.3125 kilojoule per seconds kelvin okay so the adding adding both these we are we get the net change in entropy the net change in entropy is equal to minus 0 0.1785 plus 0 0.3125 okay is equal to minus 0 0.1785 plus 0 0.3125 so the answer is 0 0.134 kilojoule per second kelvin this is the answer so second thing is that decrease in available energy is find out by the formula a1 minus a2 what is a1 a1 is for source and a2 is for system okay so in this a1 is find out by t1 minus t0 into delta s of the source and a2 is find out by t2 minus t0 into delta s of the system okay in this t1 is the temperature of the source and t2 is temperature of the system and t0 is the temperature of atmospheric temperature that is 298 kelvin okay and availability is unit is kilojoule per seconds okay so from this we are fine now the second thing is decrease in available 
energy okay so we have formula that a1 minus a2 okay what is a1 a1 is t1 minus t0 into delta s of the source okay so for easy understanding t1 is 1400 t2 is 800 kelvin and t0 is 298 kelvin so find out this okay so we know that a1 so let's find out t1 is that 1400 minus t0 298 and we are already find ts of the source that is minus 0 0.1785 but please understand we do not consider this sign in the calculation okay so neglect it so is equal to 400 minus 298 is equal to into 0 0.1785 is equal to 196.77 okay so it's in kilojoule per seconds so second one is a2 is equal to t2 minus t0 delta s of the system so what is t2 t2 is 800 minus 298 and delta s of the system is 0 0.3125 so calculate it 800 minus 298 into 0 0.3125 so 156875 kilojoule per seconds so final we have to find a1 minus a2 that is decrease in available energy okay so what is a1 a1 is 196.707 minus 156.875 so let's calculate it 196.707 minus 156.875 so is equal to 39.832 kilojoule per seconds so this much this much energy is decrease okay we cannot use this much energy this is the its conclusion and from the first result that is net change in entropy is we are getting 0 0.134 kilojoule per second kelvin so we need to understand this that in the source okay in the source we are getting minus 0 0.1785 this much this much entropy and for system we are getting this much entropy so the net entropy is we are getting so less okay so please understand the concept of the problem okay.